We all know Patrick Beverly for his taunting, hard defense, and confrontational antics in the NBA. But only a few know the real Pat, his lifestyle, the death threats he's received, and who he's dating. During this video, we will dive deep to discover his total net worth, his battles with LeBron, and more. This is Patrick Beverly's lifestyle. Patrick Beverly was born on July 12, 1988 in Chicago, Illinois. Patrick is the son of Patrick Basie and Lisa Beverly. He also has a sister named Maya Beverly. Patrick's mother, Lisa, was just 18 when she had him, and his father never married Lisa and left her when she was still carrying Patrick. However, Bracey continued to show up at their house every now and then. Because of his father's behavior, Patrick grew up close to his mother's side of the family, and this is why he took up his mother's last name, Beverly. The NBA star attended the Wabonzi Valley High School in Chicago, and his mom worked as a nail technician for a living. Luckily, Patrick's grandfather, Reese Morris, helped with the family while Lisa raised him and his sister. Sadly, Morris died on May 7, 2017. Patrick had a lot of family support growing up, but this didn't stop him from getting in trouble once he hit his teen years. Teen years. Patrick began practicing his basketball skills from an early age. His father was also a basketball player in the early days. During Beverly's teen years, the Aurora area in Illinois was dangerous, and the kids there were usually lured into the gangster life. Patrick's mom always feared that his son might take the same path as his father. For this reason, she always encouraged Patrick to engage in basketball, to assure he didn't get close to any gang activity. Patrick ended up being transferred to the John Marshall Metropolitan High School in Chicago and graduated in 2006. After his graduation, he joined the University of Arkansas in Fayetteville for a better education. Aside from his studies, Beverly kept getting better at basketball. However, the basketball rivalries during those years were so extreme that people from the crowd used to threaten players during the game. And there were many occasions when Beverly received death threats. Beverly struggled financially in his teen years because he became a father to a child. Unfortunately, he got into drug dealing in his college days to provide for his daughter. Luckily, Patrick was able to overcome his difficulties in life and prosper in basketball. Today, he lives a great life with his beautiful family, girlfriend, and kids. Patrick Beverly is currently dating an Iranian-born entrepreneur and Instagram influencer named Mandana Balrucci. Mandana has a master's degree in interior design and manages a real estate company, mainly taking up projects in Dubai and Iran. It is not public where or how the two exactly met and when they began dating, but it has been a long time since she frequently shows up to Patrick's games. One time, when the Timberwolves made it to the NBA playoffs, Mandana celebrated her boyfriend's accomplishments by posting pictures of him on her Instagram. However, Patrick Beverly has had many relationships with different women in the past. Before Mandana, Patrick was dating a girl named Amber Spencer during his early NBA years. And there was a widespread rumor that he and Amber were set to marry each other at one point, but they never confirmed it. Beverly was also reportedly in a relationship with a stripper named Lyra Galore in 2013. However, they broke up following his statement that the rapper Drake took her with him to his Toronto house. But those dating dramas had all been forgotten once he met Mandana. Beverly is currently the father to his two kids, Aldea and Everett. Patrick loves his kids and always says they're one of the most important things in his life. However, the mother of his daughters has never been revealed. Fortunately, Patrick doesn't have to struggle to take care of his family. Thanks to his basketball career and the NBA star lives quite a comfortable and luxurious life. Assets With a fortune like his, Patrick can afford a luxurious lifestyle and lives a relaxed life with his family in Los Angeles. Due to his location, Patrick may be playing a big amount of taxes and might also have a good insurance policy for his assets. The details of his house and cars are not public for now, but still, looking at Patrick Beverly's wealth, he seems to be living an incredible life. Net Worth and Earnings Pat Bev has a total net worth of about $15 million. The NBA star started making big money as he began playing in professional leagues in Europe but he never publicly revealed the amount he made during his overseas career. The player played for the Miami Heat after they bought his draft rights from the LA Lakers in 2011. The Heat had paid him around $473,000, even though he did not play any games. Imagine getting paid a casual $400,000 for doing nothing. When he returned to play in the NBA for the 2012-2013 season, he was with the Houston Rockets. The Rockets gave him around $14 million up until 2017. But that's not all. 
Patrick also collected around $35 million for his time with the Clippers. He later closed a $14.5 million contract with the Timberwolves in 2021. If we address his overall earnings, he's accumulated around $51 million just from his career. Most recently, Patrick was traded to the Utah Jazz, and from there to the Lakers, who traded Talon Horton Tucker and Stanley Johnson. Beverly will now share a team with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook. And Beverly was traded to bring the title to the Lakers. But Patrick's net worth isn't all from basketball. He earns a good amount of money through brand endorsements. Endorsements and Investments The fame that Patrick has gained in the sport has helped him receive many sponsorship and endorsement offers. Patrick is sponsored by several brands like Nike, Honey, and more. In September 2019, he re-signed a new several-year shoe contract with Adidas. Also in October 2017, Beverly partnered with Honey to launch the Honey Steal of a Deal ticket campaign. The campaign was made to allow fans to purchase $10 tickets for each local game during the 2019-2020 season. And Patrick also has a top-rated NBA summer basketball camp called Camp Lockdown which includes great options for youth like life skills and basketball. But what makes Patrick so special? Why do fans love him? And what makes him different from other players? Well, the answer is in his nickname, Mr. 94 Feet. Performances A basketball court is exactly 94 feet long and 50 feet wide. Patrick got his nickname of Mr. 94 Feet because he puts pressure and defense on every inch of the court. And Beverly, fully embraces and lives up to his nickname. He even has it on his Twitter account. Patrick is usually recognized for having matchup battles with other NBA stars, such as Chris Paul, Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and more. Zach Harper of CBS Sports once detailed the reputation which the athlete has earned during his NBA career. Patrick Beverly has gained quite the reputation in just a short time. One key moment was when he didn't fold against what Russell Westbrook as the Thunder Guard was wanting to call a timeout on a play that resulted in a lateral tear of Westbrook's meniscus. This one play has gone down in history and is directly linked to him obtaining his Mr. 94 Feet nickname. Issues with LeBron As we mentioned before, Beverly is not the type of player to back down in a tense situation. He has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron James and Russell Westbrook multiple times in his career. He made his presence strong in the league with his scrappy defense. And for this reason, Patrick has been a big part of the NBA, even though he had a rough start and a career overseas. However, Patrick does not seem happy with the league since he made a bold statement after being asked how it felt to be playing with LeBron James and the Lakers. They'll be playing with me. I made the playoffs last year and they didn't. And that's the main difference between us. The Lakers are certainly grateful to have Beverly, but still... This does not mean they will be a better team on the court with him. It is a well-known fact that LeBron James needs shooters by his side for his team to get the most out of every game. What an arrogant comment made by a mid-tier player coming into a storied franchise. If you like this video, you might like John Wall's lifestyle video. Do you think Patrick Beverly is one of the best defensive players in the league? Let us know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.